There are six hotels going up right now that will open within the next year. This one is located just two blocks away from the Raleigh Convention Center, and the area around that venue is soon going to be revamped. The county says small businesses will benefit from the big changes. We are so, so excited to have the new shop open on NC State Centennial Campus. 321 Coffee, a shop that employs people with disabilities, opened its fifth location on Monday. The founders are considering further expansion and feel the economic outlook looks pretty good. Wake County just broke a record for tourism. It is so exciting to see the traction and the recognition that Raleigh tourism and just the city and the entrepreneurs and the ideas and the life that is happening here. A new report shows the 18.5 million visitors in 2023 pumped in more than $3 billion into the economy. I met Rainhorn as she was exploring downtown from Greensboro. I like it. It's people down here, you know, Everybody seems friendly. Tourism leaders say Wake rebounded from the pandemic quicker than expected. The county is looking to build on the momentum with the expansion of the Raleigh Convention Center, the relocation of Red Hat Amphitheater, construction of an Omni Hotel, and PNC Arena renovations. It really will put us at a different level in terms of the types of events. We'll be able to attract even larger conventions, more conventions, uh, larger sporting events. 321 Coffee is hoping more visitors will be exposed to the mission and leave Wake inspired. But if we can also showcase this model to other companies and open people's eyes to doing something similar, that's where we can really make some great strides towards a more inclusive future. Construction on the new Raleigh Convention Center is expected to be finished by 2029. In Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.